Hey guys, Stay Gigachid and Spam Noted. Today in this video, I'm gonna cover the Swift Slayer build called Predator. So let's get started. Let's go over to her identity first. As I already mentioned in the previous video, the spec build Punisher Slayer, whenever you land the skills, you get the identity meter like this. And when you hit max, then you can click a Z key, and when you press it, then you go into Berserk mode. In this mode, you get 20% of attack speed, movement speed, plus 30% of crit rate. And you can see the gauge is dropping down. This lasts exactly 30 seconds. And also, um, there's a Z key right here, and if you use the Z key, then you can use her uh, identity skill called Blood Rust. After her Berserk mode ends, you can see that she will get something called Exhaustion like this for 30 seconds. Uh, during the exhaustion, you cannot gather gauge even though you land the skills. Alright, let's go over to the class engraving. This one is called Predator and it is really hard to explain only with the text. So let me go on in a practical way. Alright, so during the Berserk mode, you get 40% of crit damage increase but you cannot use Z skill. As you can see, it's locked, but whenever you land your attacks, like skills and auto attack, you can see that the gauge is increasing. And exactly, you get 10% gauge and 3% mana restoration. This has 1 second cooldown, by the way, so you cannot like spam it. But you get debuff called fatigue, like this, every 3 seconds, and each stack increases the gauge consumption by 10%. So eventually your berserk mode will end because of this debuff and you will meet exhaustion when it ends. However, it decreases the exhaustion duration depending on the fatigue stacks. You can see that it ends right now and my fatigue starts from 15 seconds rather than 30. The more you had the fatigue stacks, the less exhaustion duration time you will have just like this. Also, you can see that your gauge will be maxed after the exhaustion ends just like this, so you can immediately go back to your Berserk mode. The longer you stay in the Berserk mode, the less duration time of the exhaustion you will get. So this is a consistent DPS class. So it is completely opposite of the Punisher Slayer since that is Burst DPS class. Let's go over to the stats and gears. For the stats, you max Swiftness and Sub Crit. For the gear, you go Entropy Set. Back attacking as a Predator Slayer is not hard because of high swiftness. And you can see that you will get like 10% of movement speed, attack speed from the Swamp of Yearning and 20% each from the Berserk mode, right? So that's already 30. Um, why do you have to run high swiftness like this? And the reason is because of the cooldown reduction. The cooldown reduction is really important for a consistent class like Predator Slayer. And for the crit, like this amount of crit normally increases around 20%, right? You get 20% from the sub stat and 20 from the level 2 of the entropy, that's 40, and 10% from the back attack, that's 50. And lastly, um, you get 30% from the identity, so that's 80%. If you run adrenaline level 1, which I will explain a bit later, then it becomes up to 85. Okay, the engravings. You run Grudge, Ambush Master, Raid Captain, Mass increase, Predator as a main meta engraving. And if you're aiming for like 9-7 or um, Ancient Full Accessory, then you can aim level 1 or 2 of Adrenaline. Okay, Ambush Master is the best engraving for the Entropy class, right? Raid Captain shows the max efficiency because this build runs full swiftness and there's Swamp of Yearning and the movement speed from the Berserk mode as well. That's like already, um, you know, exceeded, right? Mass increase is a core one of the core meta engraving because as you already know, the attack speed is like over, like around 160% already. So having 10% attack speed reduction does nothing to this class. Alright, the skills. Wild Stomp. This is a party synergy skill and also a counter skill. Her party synergy is 6% damage increase just like Berserker. The first right pod is a party synergy for 10 seconds. Second one increases damage. Third one does tick damage after she lands the skill. For the rune, you want to run Conviction. Furious Claw. This is a DPS skill. For the tripod, cooldown reduction, damage increase, and damage increase. For the rune, Judgment. Looks like this. Volcano Eruption. This is a DPS skill. For the first tripod, you go 
the one that increases the distance of using this skill. Second one increases damage. Third one changes this holding skill into a normal skill and increases damage as well. For the rune, you run Gale Wind. It looks like this. Brutal Impact. This is a DPS skill. First tripod increases damage. Second one increases damage and changes this charging skill into normal skill. Third one increases damage as well. For the rune, you run Focus Rune. Guillotine. This is a DPS skill. First tripod reduces cooldown. Second one and third one increases damage. For the rune, you want to run Focus Rune. Fatal Sword. This is a DPS skill. First tripod increases damage. Second one, third one all increases damage as well. For the rune, you want to run Gale Wind. Punishing Draw. This is a DPS skill and is also a counter skill. First tripod gives tenacity, which immunes the push out attacks. And the second one, third one increases damage. For the rune, Bleed Rune. Wild Rush. This is a movement skill. First tripod surrounds herself with flame, which does some tick damage. And the second one allows the skill to stack up to two times, just like Ardus Portal. For the rune, quick recharge. Unlike the Punisher build, the reason why you run tick damage tripod on Wild Rush and Wild Stomp is because if you think about the characteristic of the Predator, every time you land attack per second, then you gain a gauge, right, during the Berserk mode. So let me show you. So you go into a Berserk mode and it starts to drop, right? But if you land these skills that does tick damage, like this, then you can see the gauge is increasing. Awakening. The second Awakening does a bit more damage and stagger compared to the first one. It looks like this. The first Awakening has Destruction and it maxes out the gauge full on the start. It looks like this. So because of this characteristic, normally Predators use the first Awakening on the start of the raid to max out the gauge and immediately go into the Berserk mode. You can see that this build is running 416 skill points. If you do not have this much skill points, you can subtract the Furious Claw from 12 to 10 and also Wild Rush from 7 to somewhere like 4 or 1. Gems. For the attack gems, you run Fatal Sword, Punishing Draw, Furious Claw, Guillotine, Volcano Eruption, and Brutal Impact. For others, you run Cooldown Reduction on Fatal Sword, Furious Claw, Guillotine, Volcano Eruption, and Brutal Impact. Okay, finally the Rotation. You wanna kick off by using the first Awakening since it maxes out her gauge. And you know that there's a Conviction on Wild Stomp and Judgment on Furious Claw. So you want to align these two for the first Rotation. And other than that, you just click the skills whenever the cool comes back. So you just like full piano. And the reason why that's possible is because the only thing that you have to consider playing Predator build is the 10 seconds of the party synergy from the Wild Stomp. And because she runs high swiftness, even without having any cooldown reduction gem on this skill, the duration time is longer than the cooldown. The cooldown starts from 8 seconds and the duration time of the party synergy is 10 seconds. That is the reason why you can just spam the skills. Okay, so you use the Awakening, get the Max Gauge, Berserk Mode, Conviction, Judgment, and so on and so forth. Just use the attack whenever the cool comes up. Hardest Energy, Furious Claw, and some Dash Skill, Guillotine, Hardest Energy, W, S, D, E, like art just literally you just have to play it as a piano just like this well guys that's all for today thanks for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed the video until the next video stay giga chat and spam noted guys bye guys